Hey you guys. Hi stampers. Welcome to my lunchtime live. I am uh, working from home these days and I've been actually taking a break over lunch to do some stamping and be creative and I got to thinking um, I should stamp with all of you. Um, when I'm doing that, it's a really great break to my day and it kind of helps me break up the day and do a little bit of creative therapy in the middle of the day, uh, beat some of that stress of the nine to five. And I figured if I could use that, maybe all of you could use that. So I'm going to pop open my page because when I flip the camera around to do my projects, I can't see your questions and your comments. Um, so bear with me here. How is every, hi Kathy, thanks for joining. Um, it's kind of a gloomy day out there today. Um, so hopefully the lighting in here um, is okay. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Um, so let me get my stuff organized here. Tomorrow is already October. And I cannot believe it. Um, John and I are heading up to our cabin this weekend. Um, so I have just been kind of running around and um, trying to get everything ready for um, the weekend. And we are so excited to get up where I'm hearing that the fall colors are like spot on in that area so i'm super excited and john just got a promotion at work so i'm hoping that we can celebrate um for the weekend and just kind of enjoy getting away from it all um okay i think that i better get stamping because we all have our limits to our lunch breaks here let me um get this flipped around this out okay I had this all set to go um, I'm trying a new software and I was just having a hard time getting things going so I had it working for that software but I'll zoom in a little bit here not so much now I think I'm okay. Can you guys see that okay? It looks like it's okay on my screen. Um, all right. The first thing I want to talk to you about is a sale that's going live tomorrow. Stampin' Up! is having one of my favorite sales of the year, their designer series paper sale. And so for select designer series paper packages, you can get 15% off. And they've got, oh my gosh, two, three, four, five, about 15 different options here. So the ones that are going on sale, the Artistry Blooms, Tis the Season, Forever Greenery, Poinsettia Place, Trimming the Town Plaid Tidings. This Plaid Tidings is awesome. And hi, Deborah. I'm going to be showing you some cards using this designer series paper today. The Toil Tidings, that's on my wish list. Peony Garden, Whale of a Time, Heartwarming Hugs. This one looks nice and neutral for some Christmas cards. Magic in This Night, I'll be doing some projects with that next week. Um, Snowflake Splendor, In Good Taste, Playing with Patterns, Playful Pets. I want to highlight this In Good Taste designer series paper because it's got a lot of kind of rustic-y, neutral looking um, textures that would work for any card. Um, and the plaid I'm going to highlight for you because I have a lot of people reaching out to me to tell me that they struggle 
with man cards, masculine cards. And this plaid set would make that super, super easy. I'm going to give you a couple layouts today that you can use. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. The plaid set, where the heck did I even put it? Oh, I didn't log that page. I flagged the um, stamp sets that we're going to be using. I'm just going to show you. this pack so you can get an idea first of all it's a big stack like usual and like usual everything is double-sided um the black and white would be great for neutral it also really pops when you um i was playing around with a halloween project let me see if i can find it i'm making some treat bags for some um, people on my team and um, I was coloring this pumpkin and I noticed how much that popped against a black and white plaid. Um, so some of these can be used for Halloween as well. That's just an idea for you. Um, okay, so just a quick reminder for those that are popping on, I'm going to be going live every Wednesday over the lunch hour, uh, specifically for as long as we're working from home. And I'll be starting prize drawings next week. So when you pop on, make sure you say hello, tell me where you're from. I love to see where you're watching from. And share this video on your page because that's how you get entered to win a prize from me. This one is gorgeous, a lot of great fall colors. Um, so just kind of showing you these patterns here in the plaid one. Um, this does not have to be Christmas. It does not have to be fall. Uh, there is a lot of great options. So I don't want you to think that just because that um, designer series paper stack is in the holiday catalog that you're limited to holiday options with it. All right, let's start stamping. The first card I'll be making, I always like to package everything up here so I have everything ready. We are going to be using the plaid that has this kind of orange and black tone. And I wanted to be sure that I had the tone right with the coordinating colors. So just a little tip for you, on the cover sheet for your designer series paper, it tells you the colors that are in the designs. And so as I looked through here, I thought Cajun Craze, that looks like Cajun Craze. And sure enough, that is the coordinating color. Now for the card that we're going to stamp today, I'm using the Beautiful Autumn stamp set, and then that comes in a bundle in the holiday catalog with these really cute punches. Now, sometimes, me personally, when I look at a photo here, I'm not sure, like, okay, how big are these punches? So I wanted to show you this so you get an idea kind of how big these are. You can save 10% when you bundle and get the punches with the stamp set. These are probably some of my favorite punches that have come out. So I absolutely love this bundle. And I'm super, super excited to show you what I have in mind for it. This card, oh, so sorry, I bumped my desk. This card is gonna come together really, really quickly. By the way, if you want to order any of these products, just go to my blog. There's a link that says shop now at the top, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. If you use my host code and place a $50 or more order, I'm going to send you a free package of linen thread. This is a wonderful neutral embellishment. I use it the most out of any of my ribbons and threads, and so I wanted to gift that to you. Okay. So let me get some of my stuff out of the way here. OK, 
Okay. I've got a card base here out of Cajun Craze. And let me get my bone folder here. And the sizes. I've got notes over here for you. Okay. This piece is just a half piece of paper. I get asked a lot, how do you make your card bases? I don't know what size to make them. This is just a normal size um, card stock cut in half. So the this side here is eight and a half. You cut it in half the long way, which means this is five and a half. And then you are going to fold it over. So you've got a standard card base, okay? I'm actually going to be stamping the inside layer of my card first. Now, when I cut this piece for the front, I had some extra strips left over, and so I just cut a couple of these so that we could coordinate the inside of the card with the outside of the card. And I'm going to grab my Cajun Craze pad. Uh, this is a photopolymer set, so let me get a little. When you're using these photopolymer stamps, there's not a lot of cushion here, right? So you're going to want to use a piercing mat or put your catalog under your scrap paper, something um, to give you some push when you're stamping down, okay? Now, we're going to be stamping off in these images. Wow, I really need to re-ink this pad. I do not want a super bright or dark image. So I'm going to stamp off before I stamp onto my paper. And the stamp I'm using is the solid oak leaf. In this set, this is a two-step stamp, which means I could stamp the solid oak leaf detail over the top of the solid oak leaf color. What I'm using is just the color. And I'm just doing kind of some whimsical stamping across the card here to make it look like falling leaves. I've got my stamp and scrub mat over here so I can clean up my stuff right away. When I was uh, practicing with this project, I um, dropped my stamp onto my paper. I had to start over, I hate that. So I've gotten in the habit of kind of cleaning up right away because I don't want to ruin my project. Okay, um, this is for our outside, but I want a sentiment for the inside. So I think I'm gonna do the one that says, my life is, oops, sorry, my heart is grateful for you. This is a pretty neutral sentiment that, and I have found that some of these um, neutral sentiments that just say like, wow, you're such a great friend, love to have you in my life. They work really, really great even for birthday cards. And it seems that we always need birthday cards at the last minute. Okay, now I'm just going to stamp this over. Oh, I got a little ink on my block. I want to be careful that I don't transfer that. Stamping this here in the middle of my layer. So we've got those leaves kind of falling behind the sentiment layer. Isn't that pretty? It's very simple. Super easy, looks really elegant. And now, because I wanna tie the DSP that we're gonna use on the front, I'm gonna take these strips that were left over when I cut down my front piece, and I'm going to glue them here onto my inside layer like so so we have a top and bottom border and then we've got our stamping kind of coming out from there 
I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I glue it down to the inside layer. Get some of my stuff out of the way here. All right. And now, oh, my ring fell off here. We are just going to Do you guys stamp on the inside of your cards? I feel like I don't want to leave the party on the outside of the card. I love to bring the theme and my style to the inside as well. I don't want those strips to move, so I'm closing my card and securing this down. So there's our inside, very fall. It could be masculine or feminine. I love that it's neutral. And now we're gonna get going on the outside. Um, okay, I already pre-die cut out of a scrap of Whisper White, um, a stitch circle. I used the second to largest one um, from my stitch circle dies. And we're going to be using the same die cut on our second card. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lynn. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, so let me get that out here from my project really quick. Um, okay, and the reason I'm showing you this is because we are going to add a little bit of texture to these die cut pieces. I'm going to do it using the subtle texture embossing folder. So I'm showing you this because um, this card, when you see the finished product, is so simple. You're going to be making multiples. And I wanted to note that you can use your embossing folder to emboss multiple of these die cut pieces. So I'm just putting my two circles in here. I am gonna wanna be careful when I close it that they don't overlap each other, right? So that they both get die cut really nicely. And I'm just gonna run this through my Big Shot. Sorry, that's off screen, you guys, but Oops, I had one too many uh, plates for those of you who might have been screaming. No, you have too many plates. I did. You only need one plate with these thicker um, embossing folders. And you see now I've got two of my die cut circles embossed with that texture, okay? I'm going to set the one aside because we'll use it for our second card. But for this one, we can already get going. We're going to glue down our designer series paper layer. And I want it in the middle of my card. So the way that I have found is to just pay attention to the borders as I'm gluing it down and make sure that the border looks even, you know, kind of on both sides here. These colors really pop against the solid card base. I just love it. All right, now my punch. All right, I've got this oak punch and I got to thinking it would be super cute for the plaid to be peeking through this die cut layer. So I'm going to work on trying to get this punch as close to the center of this circle as I can. So it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. Stamping isn't intended to be perfect, right? And now here I've got this adorable oak leaf and we've got these plaid designs that's gonna peek through the negative from that punch. I am going to use some dimensionals 
to put this on my project. I want that to be pretty secure. So I'm probably going a little overboard with four of them. Don't forget, you can use the edge of these dimensionals. Don't waste those. Okay. Now I wasn't sure when I cut the paper for this project. Set that on here. I want a sentiment. Did I want it on orange or do I want it on white? I feel like the orange would be a little bit more, make it pop a little bit. So let me grab, oh, I already have my black ink out. And I'm going to, I'm using the hay there because it's pretty neutral. And again, we're making a neutral card. Okay. Um, we don't always have to go perfectly straight. Sometimes we can cut these sentiments off the edge of them at an angle. I think I want to make this just a little bit shorter. Ooh, I really, really like that. Very simple. Now I've already popped this layer up on dimensionals and so I want to be cognizant of um, how many layers and um, where they are on the card. So I'm only going to put a couple of dimensionals on the end that's go touching the card base so that we don't have uneven layers for this card. And I'm just going to line that up. And there we go. Our card front is almost done. This was such an easy project, but it wouldn't quite be a card without a little embellishing or bling, right? So let's take, uh, where did my, I like this thing better. I love this flat tip on the take your pick tool for getting embellishments off of your project. Oops, there we go. I love to use odd numbers. So we've got two, let's do one more here. And then I think I'll do one up here. Here we go. Our first card is done, you guys. What do you think? Isn't that adorable? I love these colors. I think it's so sharp. It is the perfect fall card. And look at how quick that came together. Just stink, um, just some stamping, some paper. You've got a great focal point. Um, do you love it? Show me some love. If you like this card, let me know that you're inspired. I love it when you hit that love button. Um, I made another one using the Rich Razzleberry uh, plaid design as well, and I used the Maple Leaf Punch. Now for this one, I did a little bit of embossing for the sentiment, but the inside is very similar. So you could easily stamp a stack of these cards, super easy. Now, I'm going to show you one more idea, but this time I'm going to use my old favorite moose punch. Let me um, move some of this stuff out of the way here. All right. So 
for this card. I've got, let me move some of my stuff here. Um, I'm going to use the, um, a couple sentiments from this. We'll be using the Moose stamp. We're going to be using the Merry Chris Moose um, sentiment. I think that's super cute. And the Happiest of Holidays sentiment. Um, <coughs> my husband and I, we are outdoorsy people, so... <clears throat> We love like rustic-y, cabin -y stuff. So as soon as I saw this set, I knew we had to have it. I'm so happy that they carried it over because it sold out like hotcakes. Um, last year when it first came out and Stampin' Up! was kind and carried it over so that more of you could get your hands on that Moose Punch too, which I love. Okay, let's do our inside stamping again. I am going to use some Smoky Slate. With our mousse. This is gonna be my background image. So I want it to be light. I don't want that really dark. In fact, I'm gonna stamp off twice before I stamp it here. And then I'm just going to stamp this in the middle. I really, really love these um, solid images um, for background behind our um, stamped sentiments on the inside. I'm looking for my cherry cobbler. All right. And now... I think a little red would pop really, really nicely against these colors. So I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler for my greeting. And I'm going to stamp that right over the top of my mousse. Now, again, just like my last card, when I cut my designer series paper piece for the front, I had some scraps. I never want those to go to waste. So I'm going to bring them into the inside layer of my card. These strips, by the way, they match the width of my inside layer, which is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And so the strip is matching the width of the card, which is four inches. And it is a half an inch wide. So once I cut my first piece, I knew I would have plenty of scraps left. So as I cut my other two pieces for these cards, I actually cut the half inch off first so that it was <clears throat> easier to line it up and get a nice straight cut. Now, doesn't this look so super, oh no, I got some yellow red on there, whatever. We're not perfect, right? That's okay. Um, this looks super modern and rustic-y. This is a style that is very, very popular right now. And I'm gonna glue this to the inside. You know this would also make a gorgeous outside layer as well. Sometimes when I'm stamping the inside of my card, I think oh, that would be really pretty on the outside of my card. All right, there we go. We've got our inside done. Isn't that sharp? Do you love it? Oh my gosh, your inside of your cards can be just as pretty as the outside people. Do not forget to stamp the inside. Okay. I'm going to glue down my outside piece of designer series paper. We've got a nice focal. It's very pleasing to the eyes, the way these colors work together. And somewhere in my stack of stuff, 
I'm so, oh, here we go. <laughs> I've got my circle with a little bit of texture that we um, put together um, with our, oh my gosh, I can't think you guys, um, that we embossed in our embossing folder. Now this one, I'm going to glue this circle down because I'm doing this one a little bit different. You could definitely stamp or punch like we did um, the negative image in our oak leaf and our maple leaf. But I wanted to show you a different way to do this. So I'm going to just stamp our moose. And I'm going to pop him up on dimensionals here, right on over the top of the circle. So we don't have to do all of our cards exactly the same way. If you're anything like me, you get a little bit uh, bored if you make the same card a hundred times. And that's what I love with this layout. You could play around with different colors, different punches. And you could make like 20 cards really quickly. Oh my gosh, are you kidding you guys? I put those dimensionals on the wrong side. All right, let's try this again. That's funny. Okay, I want him going this way. So let's put those dimensionals on again. You know, we demonstrators, we have a lot of troubles in our craft room sometimes. <clears throat> All right. You get this all set. What do you guys think of this card so far? Are you loving it? And I want him kind of walking off of this circle. Awesome, Lisa. I'm glad that you are enjoying this class. And now, let's see, do we want gray? Yep, I think the gray looks really nice. And I think that red, again, is going to make it pop. So let me... And remember, this designer series paper is on sale starting tomorrow. You get it 15% off. It is an awesome, <clears throat> awesome set to, or awesome designer series paper stack to stock up on because you can use it for so many things. You could use it for your fall cards. You could use it for your Christmas cards, as you can see. You can use it for um, birthday cards, masculine cards, whatever you want. This plaid is a great, great option for simple, simple cards, you guys, but pretty. These are very beautiful, striking colors and images together. All right. Somehow my plaid got bumped around here. That's okay. Put this like so. There we go. Our moose card is finished. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. What do you think? Do you think you could make a bunch of cards with these projects, these ideas? Oh my gosh, this is super, super easy. This same layout, three different cards. We've got bright colors. We've got birthday cards. We've got fall cards. We've got thank you cards. We've got a Christmas card here, all with these neutral colors. Just with a stamp, with punches, and with this DSP. Amazing. All right. 
Thank you for joining me, you guys. I'm so happy that you guys came and stamped with me today. Just a reminder, if you place an order um, using this host code and your order is $50 or more, I will send you some free linen thread. Make sure you're sharing my live video here to your page um, so that I can inspire even more crafters. And when you share, you'll be entered for a drawing. I will kick off the drawings next week um, as I plan to keep coming live over the lunch hour to stamp with you guys and giving you lots more designer series paper ideas this month. So I'm super excited for that. Um, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you have questions about Stampin' Up!, please send me a DM. I would absolutely love to help you out and earn your business. And um, I so look forward to getting to know all of you. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. If you are heading back to work like I am, um, enjoy it. And I will see you here next week, same time, same place. Have a good one, guys. See you later.